Hi everybody, Celia here, Nan with a plan. And today I'd like to talk to you about coffee again. Nothing really specific about coffee, but more about the coffee snobbery that goes on and how we can probably avoid it and not let ourselves be intimidated by it. Coffee is simple and it's all about you and what you like. And if you use any of these different kind of coffees, you've probably tried a lot of different ways and experiments and different coffees. And you'll often hear, you must grind fresh. That's great. If you've got a great grinder and you can afford to grind fresh every day, by all means, that's terrific. But if you don't, that's not a problem either. As long as you get whatever these of these appliances you use, you get your grind right, and you can buy that grind from the supermarket if it's espresso grind or stove top, whatever one you need. As long as you use the right coffee for the right appliance, you're fine. With regard to supermarket coffee, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I use it often. I don't always buy my coffee from a little um, boutique roastery down the line. I often just go to the supermarket and I do get prop one of the high-end brands generally and I've tried a few and now I know which ones I like and there's nothing nicer than going into the supermarket and picking up a bag of coffee and squeezing it a little and getting that beautiful coffee smell. Now that can't be bad can it? Supermarket coffee can't be bad and it isn't. But having said all that there are just a few rules that we probably should adhere to to get the best out of our coffee whether it's a barista roast or whether it's something from a little boutique place or the supermarket it doesn't matter as long as you like the taste and you get a few things right so get your grind right if you're using a french press or pour over or a stove top mocha pot just get the grind right for that application grind fresh if you can once you've got the grind right, the water, don't use boiling water. Let the water just go off the boil and leave it for a little bit. Not minutes and minutes, maybe just not even a minute, but don't use boiling water because once you pour the boiling water on, you'll get bitterness. If you're using a coffee appliance that requires a filter, always use good filters. Filters aren't expensive, but just use maybe the unbleached paper and always remember to wet your filter to start before you start the pour over before you start if you've got a drip filter coffee just wet the filter down first and then you won't get that paper flavor through the coffee which sometimes happens and the other thing always make sure that all the gear you use is clean even if you're using a big machine always make sure it's clean that way you do get the best flavor if you want to store your coffee probably don't do it don't put it in the fridge, just store it in an airtight container in the pantry in a dark spot, dark cool spot is best. Uh, that's about all really that you need to know but with regard to cost that's always something that people refer back to, oh you must have an expensive grinder, you must have the best top of the range coffee beans, you must have the best appliance, you don't have to, if you're at home just use what you've got and create a drink that you're, you're familiar and you're happy with. I did a barista course once and I learned a lot about coffee. I learned a lot about coffee in a cafe environment using a big espresso machine and it was wonderful to have that knowledge. But when I come home, some of it I can still apply but I don't need to know all of that and neither do you. You just need to know those few simple steps to get the most out of your coffee. So don't be intimidated by coffee snobs. There's nothing worse than listening to someone go on and on and on with all this coffee knowledge. We don't need to know all that. Maybe he does because he's a connoisseur and he likes to get everything perfect, but we don't have to. So don't be intimidated. Don't be intimidated by anything about coffee. It's simple and it's what you like best. Okay, bye for now.